Boatworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boatworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. Hey everybody, I hope you are all having a wonderful afternoon. My name is Andy with Boatworks Today, and it is finally time to get back up on this old girl. So just real quickly, let me explain what's been going on here in the shop for the last uh, almost three weeks now. I'm in northern Wisconsin, which you may or may not know, but springtime is a, a big ordeal which involves getting all the boats out of storage, getting them ready to, uh, to go back in the water, and then you know actually setting them back in. So with that big deadline, there's all of a sudden you'll go for you know weeks of weeks of, of no you know nobody calling. You've had jobs scheduled since last fall. They needed to get done by spring, and all of a sudden you get a phone call saying, "Oh, my boat's going in next week." So, and it happens to almost always be work that can't be done while the boat is in the water. So, I had to jump off of this project for about about two and a half weeks, and I was making trips back and forth to Bayfield, you know, daily, uh, trying to get. Well, what did I get? I think I got something like 15 or 16 other boats done. And they were mostly all, all gel coat stuff, not very interesting, little chips and dings and stuff that I've already covered, uh, you know, previously. So not very interesting. And honestly, I just, I wouldn't have had time to record it. So now with most of the pre-launch work done, now I can switch gears and get back on this boat. And, and right now, the first thing I want to get done on this boat, just so that it's done, is I want to get all of the old uh, screw holes, the old mounting holes from the old deck. I want to get all of those holes filled. And I'm going to be using a product that's made for Jamestown Distributors. It's called their Total Boat. Uh, well, it's part of their Total Boat line, but it's called their Total Fair. And this, honestly, this is a, this is a product that I've been playing around with, you know, kind of uh, behind the scenes, I guess, uh, for, for a number of months, just to kind of get a feel for its working characteristics, cure time, uh, working time, how hard it is, how well it sands, how reliable it is. And I gotta say, so far I am I'm very, very happy with it. I, it's, it's, a, it's a great product to be working with, especially for something like this. So let's break this down. Why am I sitting here talking to you about this Total Fair product? Well, the fact is almost everybody that watches or that follows this channel, they are, they're do-it-yourself, you know, kind of people. And this is a product, and in, in from what I'm uh, gathering, or from what I've noticed, this, the Total Boat line is really specifically geared towards you. Now, I've been a little, a little reluctant to try and incorporate it into, into uh, my, my workflow without having done any testing. Now, and that's what I've been doing. So, uh, I wanted to try and, you know, put it through its paces a little bit and see if it uh, measures up to the, you know, the products that I typically use. And from what I've, the products that I've, that I've uh, looked at so far, absolutely. You know, I, I don't have any problem, any hesitation recommending it. I know a lot of the people that, uh, you know, that I work with, you know, as far as uh, doing consultations for their own projects, a lot of them are getting their products from Jamestown and they have nothing but great things to say. So, uh, but I just, you know, I wanted to get my own, my own little testing done. And, you know, right now I feel comfortable, very comfortable using it on this project. So. Uh, some of the things that I think would be advantageous, you know, for, for you. It is a very economical uh, material. The biggest thing for me is that, you know, a lot of times you, when you're going into a small, specifically a small project, you know, you only need a little bit of, you know, whatever the material may be, whether it's epoxy or gel coat or whatever, you only need a little bit. And this, this uh, fairing compound, you're able to get it in small quantities and it's very, reasonably priced. You're able to get it in small quantities. So if you only need a little bit, you only have to buy a little bit. And you don't have to, it's already, and it's already pre-thickened, which is, again, saves you a little bit of money, you know, not having to buy any extra fillers. It just, it's, it's already, it's maybe a little bit thicker than what I'd like for, for some applications, but you can lay it up on a vertical surface and it's not going to go anywhere. If you lay it up, it's going to stay there. It's not going to run or sag or, or you know, move on you at all. Let's get some of this mixed up. Now, the epoxy, all epoxy, it's, it's two parts. You've got your base and then you have your catalyst. And the two parts of this epoxy are two different colors. And this stuff gets mixed one to one. So equal amounts of uh, both the base and the catalyst. So, I mean, you, you kind of just need to eyeball it. 
but I haven't had an issue with it not curing on me yet. So it's, it must not be that delicate, you know, where the ratios have to be exact, otherwise it won't work. Everything is a nice consistent color. So this is mixed, let's lay it down. I will say one, uh, one little tip, whenever you're coming in and filling in little holes like this, a lot of times you're going to have to fill the hole coming from two different directions. Because if you just hit it from one, more often times than not, one, half, one side of the hole will not be filled. With the floor deck filled, now it's time to start working my way down the sides. And just as I did on the forward area, the first step in prepping all of this is to clean it. Here I'm just coming through the vacuum, it's got a little fuzzy brush head attachment thing on it. But I'm going through and sucking up any dust, dirt, or sanding residue that might be on deck before we lay down our epoxy. So I've gotten all of these old screw holes filled in and they're ready to go, but I'm going to hold off on sanding them because, well, I need to switch gears a little bit and I need to jump on top of this cabin top uh, because the next thing I need to do is I need to get a, a layer, basically a layer of glass put over this entire cabin top, to stabilize the surface uh, because we're gonna be all gripping the, all the smooth areas and then, uh, you know, rolling out all new, all new non-skid. And if I'm gonna be doing spraying in here, there's no point in, in sanding this deck now because I'm just gonna have to sand it again after I'm done spraying. So. You know, what, why do the same thing twice? <laughs> uh, but for right now, I think that's where I'm going to end this one. Um, next video, I think, I, like I just mentioned, is going to be uh, focusing more on this cabin top. So as always, I want to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, questions, comments, you can leave those down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. This has been a Bootworks Today Protection.